Hello everybody, welcome back to Harry John's Cider Making. Brilliant, so I've left the press overnight, it's looking good, I'll just show you uh, how it's going. So, sorry about the unsteady camera, I'm still a bit new to this. So brilliant, as you can see, this press, I've got it down, it's literally around this red mark here, where the two flat air planks of wood you put in first are. So I've definitely squeezed this as, as much as I can. I literally can't get the lever out anymore. And I've put extra bits of wood in there. So yep, <laughs> this is uh, definitely a, uh, a, a maximizing the amount of juice I can get. So, but I'm really happy we are not for, we're over 4 litres, which is probably enough, that's probably the least amount I would have needed. And this part here is roughly a gallon. Um, so, I'm not going to get any more uh, pressing out of that, but whatever juice is in there, I'm going to tip up out of the, tip, tip up the press, so all the juice goes into this jug. And hopefully, we're going to get to about a gallon, but I do need to pinch about 200 to 300 milliliters for uh, the wine that I'm going to be doing. So I think it's going to be fine, even if I only get four liters in the in the demijohn, uh, that's going to be plenty, I think. Excellent. So right then, guys. So here's where the hydrometer is going to come in handy. So I've filled up my little beaker here. Looks like a little science kit. Um, right, and so here is my hydrometer. So now I've got to get this out one handed. Should be fun. There we go. Yeah, apparently if you own one of these, you are a brewing nerd or a beer nerd, cider nerd, wine nerd. That's what you guess. So here we are. Here's the hydrometer. And what this is going to do is measure the specific gravity, which is how much sugar is in the cider. So hopefully this comes up at about 1.445, I think it is, for cider. So I'll just check. Fantastic, yeah. I can see the 1.4, yeah, and it's just above there. So, yeah, it's about 1.45. So, this side is going to come out at about 5%, sorry, 4.5 to 5% as it is, which is fine. For me, I don't need to sweeten that at all. If you, sorry, not even sweeten to increase the uh, alcohol content. If you wanted to, it's pretty simple. You just add sugar until your specific gravity goes up to the desired amount. So, I think, uh, how much is it for wine? So, wine's about 10 to 12 percent. I can't remember off the top of my head. I've got a chart somewhere for it, and I think it may even be on your instructions with the hydrometer. So, that's it. This is fine for me, so I'm going to keep it at that. So, Luckily, I've still got over about four liters. All this juice here is going to get used in another recipe, so it should be good. It's still dripping, so I'm going to leave it there for an hour, about another hour before I clean it up. Um, and who knows, we may be up to a gallon at the end. Just don't know. Right. So here we are with the cider, then, guys. So we got in the end. It's just below a gallon. I'm happy with that, especially with the amount of apples that I used. It wasn't many. Uh, I really got a lot of juice out of that for um, yeah, for the amount of apples for sure. I've even got there's about 400 milliliters there, which I'm using for my wine recipe. So I'm very happy. I even drank some, so I can't resist the stuff. It's uh, it smells, it tastes, and it looks gorgeous. It's very good for you. Um, probably going to get rid of some of that juice now. Uh, uh, sorry, some of that goodness uh, when we add the side yeast. <laughs> Just going to eat all the sugars um, and it's going to turn it into alcohol. 
Still, I much prefer something like this, putting something like this into my body than something I get at the um, at the pub, which has got lots of sulfides, added sugars, it's probably been pasteurized, it's got all the goodness taken out. One of the things I don't do as well, that a lot of people do, is add a, a Camden tablet to the mixture now. Now, my nan grew up in Somerset. Now, they used to make farmhouse cider all the time, and they never used any chemicals. They used the wild yeast that are present in these now. And you're either going to get cider or you're going to get uh, vinegar. <laughs> One of the two. Um, it's a chance you take. If you add this yeast to it, I mean, I've now made at least, I think it's three to four gallons of cider. I think it's even more than that. And I've had absolutely no problems um, with not adding any Camden tablets. Um, I haven't had to add any sulfites. Um, even with my wine, they recommend that you uh, add pectolase, I think it is, to um, get rid of some of the pectin enzymes in there, which help clear up the wine. I'm not going to do that, especially if it's just for looks. Plus, the Camden tablets are supposed to... Um, take away some of the taste. I even asked the home brew shop this. I said I didn't want to use too many chemicals. They said it's fine. You you wear uh, 90% of the time it's going to come out absolutely fine. It's just a dead certainty if you add the Camden tablets that you're going to have this cider which isn't going to turn to vinegar. Uh, I'm willing to risk that 10% chance uh, just to keep it a bit more natural, a bit more organic, a bit like what my nan used to have. She likes this cider anyway. So. Brilliant, so I'm going to add that yeast and uh, we don't even need to stir it in. So here we are guys, I've added the yeast. Now it doesn't look like much, but these packets of yeast that I get, the, the whole packet will do uh, five gallons. So, you know, I split this into five, I measured it into five and I've done individual batches. I think I did uh, two gallons at once one time, but yeah, so the, yeah, this is my fifth a uh, gallon of cider and uh, yeah you you sprinkle it on top you don't even need to stir this in and um, it'll start finding its way down eating the sugars and um, you'll get this uh, krausen I think they call it it's like a, a little bit of bubbling on the surface um, and that's it that just shows that the yeast is working it's uh, fermenting and yeah you leave it to do that for about a week Put the top on lightly. I'll keep checking up on this and uh, yeah, you want to make sure that the air can escape out of these. Um, so the fermentation is going to be quite, um, uh, what's the word, uh, not vicious but vigorous maybe. It's going to be, you couldn't put this into a demijohn at the minute because it would just flow all over the, um, out through the airlock or over the top and just make a mess everywhere so I'd say five to seven days in this fermentation bucket and then we'll uh, transfer it to a demijohn and it'll be about another month and we can see, see it clear up really nicely and then once it goes almost clear through you can then bottle it up and uh, yeah I'll be sure to make more videos on that so Happy brewing guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, any questions, feel free to um, ask me in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, please like it. And uh, yeah, there'll be more coming soon. Thank you.